Hello everyone, Stephen here with Cardboard Coalition, and today I would bring I'm here to bring you the last of the coverage for DC United, um, DC Superheroes United. I keep messing that up. I'm really sorry. So what we want to do here is look at some of the last stuff that they have for offer. And lucky for us, I'm doing the video a day late, so I've gotten the latest announcements, or we all have gotten the latest announcements and what there is. So let's go ahead and do this and, whoops, where'd it go? Go back up here, sorry, there's probably a cartoon tail in the picture because she wants everyone to know she's here too. Just relax, cartoon, let me finish the video. All right, so last we stopped off at was um, Cyborg Superman. All right, so what has unlocked since Cyborg, Cyborg I can do it, Superman. All right, we got the ally mode right here. We can click it, open it up. Um, gives you a handful of cards to kind of play through changing your play, right? Ally behavior cards, so now your allies can have behaviors and stuff like that. All right, I'm not gonna open all of them up. Honestly, the ally behavior slipped my mind on what it was. We have arm fall off boy. Um, we have Deadshot, we have Ares, we have Zantana, we have Reverse Flash, we have Stargirl and Stripe. They came out, I thought they showed them at the same time, but I guess they came out at different stretch goal numbers. Meh, there you go, but we got them. Um, Batcave and Gear Cards, we get some Batcave and some Gear Cards. Um, Captain Boomerang, Bizarro, this one I was really excited about. I mean, when you get down here, I like Deadshot too, he's pretty cool. The Ares is a pretty cool one, but... Bizarro's fun. I've grown to really like Bizarro lately. We have Plastic Man. We have Solomon Grundy, which came out on a Monday, but there's been a lot of unlocks today because what's going on. We have Constantine. We have the Justice League of Dark team deck. We have a cartoon that's going to walk right in front of me. She has no respect for filming videos. All right, so the Justice League um, Dark team deck. We have uh, Mr. Mixelplick. Um, what else do we have? We have Night Patrol. Um, I'm going to click on this one. I think this one gives us a different um, kind of game mode, if I remember right. She's coming back at Claros, Master Plan cards, Night Patrol. It's a module, right? So it gives us a different way to kind of play with our um, DC United, Superheroes United stuff. Got to move her out of the way. She's just going to sit there and say, love me. We've been gone for a bit because of Comic Con, so... Just getting back last night makes her really excited and want attention. All right, something, probably the one thing I was waiting for the most out of all of them is right here, and that's Firestorm, right? I am gonna click on that one because it's pretty cool. I can't wait to paint him up. Um, my personal nerd history, Firestorm is the first comic book that I picked to get monthly when I was, I don't know, I was like second grade, right? And asked my cousin to pick him up, so don't, um, blame me too harshly on him, but he just looks cool and still to this day he's really eye-catching his uniform for me reading his comics I'm usually in and out on him, but there we go. We get General Zod and then we get a task force um, X which gives us another new module to kind of mess around with in play in the game All right, so that is the um, Unlocks they're getting ready to unlock dead man. I don't remember watching where we are at um, stretch goals, 55 of 56 unlocked. It's going to unlock that last one. As of time of recording, there's a little there's a little under 48 hours as of time of this video going up. Um, there will be a little bit over 24 hours or right at about 24 hours, maybe even a little bit less. Um, but we got some add-ons, some more add-ons. Um, cardboard villain cards, cardboard locations. I'm probably going to get all this stuff, though I shouldn't. Um, plastic tokens for extras, the plastic tokens. Um, then we get up here, we have campaign decks. This was a new thing that um, recently came out. Um, team decks were already there. Um, we get sidekicks. Um, and there's a couple. There's Suicide Squad. Well, why don't we go? Let's do this. Let's look at the sidekicks. We can do this. Um, like I said, a lot of stuff went on over Comic Con weekend. Right. All right, so um, we get... Chip, we get Ace the Bat Hound, we get um, Dexstar. I really don't know who Dexstar is. Meh. All right. And we have Detective Chimp. 
right? Then we have the sidekick cards that go with some of the people that we already have, but it gives you those decks of the sidekick cards. Then we have, let's scroll back up. Where is the other stuff? Suicide Squad, right? So a Suicide Squad, um, the Suicide Squad expansion, we get Harley Quinn in the dual mode, right? It's not called anti-hero mode, it's the dual mode. King Shark, oh, look at that. They're all dual mode, right? Polka Dot Man, uh, Peacemaker, Black Flag, and Blood Spot. And then this also gives us a suicide mode, so another kind of way to play through. Of course, we get cards and all that kind of stuff. They're going to have missions that they're going to have to try to accomplish. Um, and then we got the last two that we have going here. Um, Arkham Asylum. All right, so we get Arkham Asylum. Um, this one comes with a whole bunch of villains, and you play as villains trying to get out of Arkham. So you have Killer Croc, Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, Penguin. I'm not even a big Penguin fan, but I like that sculpt of Penguin. The Riddler and Two-Face. You get a couple heroes, um, or a few heroes to be fair. Um, you get Batgirl, uh, Cassandra Kane. This is probably my favorite Batgirl outfit. Um, then you get Batman in his bat armor, you get spoiler, and then you get Damon Wayne as Robin. And as you guys look, I kept thinking this was a weird hairstyle choice in the back, but it's not. That's the back of his cape flaring out, right? In this, the villains are trying to escape. If you back this on um, GameFound, you get the crowdfunding exclusives, which are Man Bat and Mr. Freeze, whose helmet pops right off, right? All right, there is something in my eye. There we go. I can click things. And then the last thing, um, are did Arkham? Should I watch the videos backwards? No, I think the this is the last one that they recently kind of put out there. Yes, it is. Um, the War of Light. So this is where Hal Jordan was. We all knew Hal Jordan was going to be there. There was no doubt Hal Jordan um, Sinestro were going to be there. But they decided to do it in the War of Light. So you get some heroes. You get Kyle Rayner. You get um, St. Walker, and you get Hal Jordan, the OG. Well, I guess the OG would be Alan Scott, but for the DC that most of us know, the OG, right? Then you get some um, dual mode characters. You get Indigo 1 and um, Star Sapphire. Um, then you get the villains, which are Sinestro. I'll probably mess up one of these names. Black Hand, uh, Tro uh, uh, atrocitus 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 maybe maybe and i always thought he was a good guy but lars flit lar fleas lar fleas i can do this i really really can so you also get components you get cards and all that kind of stuff now the thing that they just mentioned today you probably eyeballed it over here it's a little cheaper than i thought it was but i was thinking there's going to be an all-in with absolutely everything in it but you have the all in here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and scroll up and see what we would have to pay. So we get the $65 pledge, which gives you the main game. You get these uh, crowdfunding extras and you get all stretch goals, right? Not add-ons, but stretch goals. Then you can play, pay 100, um, the Titans mode. You get um, the main game and the Titan, Teens Titans expansion. You get um, the extras that would come if you backed it on crowdfunding for the main game. And you get Super um, Girl, not Super Girl, Power Girl as the extra for the Teen Titans backing it um, at 100 So you have 65 you have $100, and then you have the Conqueror, which is an all-in gameplay mode. So this is going to be missing things like the tokens. Oh, I guess we can just open it up as usual. Um, it's going to be missing things like the tokens, um, the cardboard here, our cardboard places, the cardboard villains. So there's probably at least another 60, 70 bucks in that if you're thinking money wise. I guess it still puts it in, I think I said somewhere between um, 350 and 450. I think it puts it somewhere right about there. Unless there's some last minute um, add on drop, which I don't think they're going to do because they just gave us the all in add on, right? So what do we get into this? $30 discount. $30, you can do better than that. Come on. All right, $30 discount. You get the core box. You get the Teen Titans box. You get the War of Light box. Um, I should just say expansion. The expansions. You get the Arkham Asylum um, breakout expansion. You get the, the 
You get the Justice League of America expansion. You get the Suicide Squad expansion. You get the Gotham City expansion, the Metropolis expansion, the Green Lantern Corps, which is the characters. You get sidekicks that give you those sidekicks. You get the campaign packs that give you decks where it allows you to play through certain campaigns that happen in the movie, use certain characters. You get the team decks. Then you also get all the extras that you would get if you bought them all individually. Plus, you get hero cards for Harley Quinn and Joker. And then, dun, 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 Starro and the Batmobile, right? You get all that stuff. So what this ends up giving you is everything except for the bling items, right? And if we scroll down, you know, that would be the stuff down here. I guess we can look down. I'm just going to go add this stuff probably tonight or tomorrow before the campaign ends. So you get the plastic tokens um, and the extras, the core and the extras. So that's $45. Um, there is plus 60. That's $105. I guess I said 70 something. I'm wrong. So $135 more because I kind of, I paint and I, I just like this book. It looks like it's a hardcover book too when you kind of look at the image, right? So, eh, 30 bucks for a book that talks about painting miniatures. I like to paint. I will take it, right? So there you go. That is up to date. As I said, this is a Monday evening. There's still all of Tuesday to go through. This will go up mid-Tuesday, mid-tomorrow. So you guys will have, I can't remember when the campaign ends. I think you'll have a little over 24 hours by the time you watch this video to back this, buy this, um, add on to what you already got. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am Steven with Cardboard Coalition, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.